Hi, I'm Laura. Welcome. This is My Style, My Space with LUK. Come on in. Wipe your feet. Welcome to the living room. So before COVID, this room was a really dark green and it needed to be lighter and brighter. So I painted it in this color called Fawn, which is an archive color from Fire and Ball. It's kind of like a mushroomy color, but it feels like a nice light hug rather than a nice kind of cozy, dark hug, which I really like. I've got this amazing painting, which is from an artist called Rob Tucker, who's from New Zealand. I basically hunted him down on Instagram and sent him a million DMs. The colors are quite bright and loud, but I, I feel like it's really nice in here. These are some really amazing cushions that we sell on Glasset from Common Room. They're just so fun. I just love the edge as well, like the little scallop detail. I love these chairs, which were like 50 quid each from eBay. In an ideal world, I'd get them covered in like a white boucle. So they were like big teddy bears that you can lounge in. I've got two kids and they're really messy and they literally put their dirty fingers everywhere. So unfortunately right now, white boucle does not work for us. I love eBay. I'm always on eBay. And I think a really top tip is to set alerts for things that you really like because once you've missed something, the devastation is real. I mean, as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Um, this is from a trip to Brussels. Um, I think this was like 100, 200 pound. All set resin, it's so beautiful. This is an amazing little vase from Hot Pottery and I love to fill it with nasturtiums from the garden. But I have the most amazing flower subscription. My friend Vicky um, has a company called Uncut Stems and I get flowers every other week delivered to the house. These are brilliant. So these are candlesticks from a brand called Arbala. And these are candles from Izzy Granger. Like they kind of look a bit weaponry, but I really like this deep emerald green. It's such a good color. And then this is incredible. My husband bought me this for my birthday. It's from Della Jardin. It's kind of made out of like paper mache. Yeah, I don't really have a like styling technique. I love stuff. I don't buy a lot, but I just love everything that I have. I have an emotional connection to everything, whether it is this gorgeous paperweight or this ridiculous shell. My husband is like, why do we have a small jug on the mantelpiece? I don't know, but it looks really pretty. I have no ceiling light in here. Everything's quite like middle, low level lighting. So I've got this vintage bamboo light from Saskal Studio. Oh my God, I just saw this as well. This is just the most fantastic candle um, from Sire. And they only make three candles and each of them is just they're so beautiful and the hand blown um, glass vessel, which means that you can kind of use it afterward, which I absolutely love. Okay, I think we're done in here. Let's move this way. So, oh, these are really, really amazing photographs. My husband's really into kind of photographs more than art. So we've got lots of um, beautiful kind of pictures on the wall. And then the color in here is setting plaster, which is really nice. My husband's like, it's pink. I'm like, it's not pink. It's setting plaster, there's a big difference. Kind of a pink, it's fine. Come through to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. I just have to tell everybody watching that it is never this tidy, okay? You've got me on a very good day. It's really light space. It feels somewhere between an orangery and a conservatory and we've got loads and loads of plants. We get our plants from eBay free cycle and gum tree. If anybody's throwing any plants out, we kind of rescue them and bring them back home and look after them. This is like my husband's other child. He talks to it, he feeds it. It's getting so big. I um, really like buying secondhand things. So I'll always try and buy stuff from a vintage market or um, a thrift shop. I just can't go on holiday and not go to a market. I just feel that would be just mad. But yeah, I mean, this is our big dining table as well. So this is three meters long. I love the dinner table. Everything happens here. I have tea here, wine with my girlfriends. I host my host supper clubs here. The kids paint here. And we've got like terracotta floor tiles as well, just to kind of feel a bit outdoorsy. Although I have to be really honest, they're a nightmare to clean. What else can I show you? Oh, this is great. Come and look at the glass cupboard. I love this. 
So I'm kind of obsessed with glassware and I've always collected it. Whenever I've gone on holiday, I've always brought a piece of glassware home, usually like a tumbler or a wine glass or something like that. I just think they're really special. These are like samples actually that we're making for Glassette, which is very exciting. These are so lovely. They only had two of them, but they're really nice. And then this is like my favorite corner of the kitchen. I'll, I'll show you this a little bit. I usually just kind of sit here and watch everyone kind of either chatting at the table or the kids running around causing havoc. But I don't know why this corner just feels like a bit of calm. I mean, I'm obsessed with these glasses. We're selling these on Glassette. So, Every time I make a cup of tea or coffee, it always feels really special. And I think this is a really good idea, but when we designed the kitchen, we did drawers. We've got like all of our cups in here. And this mushroom tea, quite enjoying it. The whole kind of design of the kitchen is based around entertaining. This house is always full of people and I really wanted to have an inclusive kitchen so wherever anybody was, you could kind of see or talk to another person. I love this hob by Gaganau. It feels quite industrial. I love stainless steel, um, but we kind of decided to go for this um, travertine top because it's a bit of a, kind of a softer stone. I'm gonna show you my linen cupboards. You're gonna be like shocked. So this is all like my linens, lovely folded and this is like the booze cupboard and this is mad because I don't even drink alcohol that's a lie I do I love having a sofa in the kitchen this was a hundred pounds from Facebook marketplace it's like a old um, Ikea designed by Elise Crawford and then this amazing cushion by Trove love it um, I really want to show you guys my pantry because I am a collector of cookbooks I'm really proud of it so come and have a look so it's a bit messy in here but I quite like it like that. Um, I've got so many cookbooks. This is a new one that I've got called Lazy Baking. The lovely girl Jess that sent it to me basically folded down the pages with recipes that she thought that I would like. I think that is the most thoughtful thing ever. And then this is one that I use all the time, Fresh India, vegetarian recipes. This is a new one that I've got, Ottolenghi, Test Kitchen. What a great cover, love it. Maybe I'll show you through like bits of my Pottery. This was a plate that I got when I was on my honeymoon. Very nice. I also have ridiculous things like a swan, salt and pepper, and then some naked ladies. Hello. This is also very important to me, my taco warmer. So when you've got your tacos ready to serve, you can put them in a warmer so they don't get cold. Oh my God, this is great. Cashew crunch, love a good olive oil. The best cherries ever cocktail cherries, although I sometimes do sneak them from the jar. Got a couple of jelly moulds in here as well. I love it in here. I feel, I feel happy in here. Okay, I am gonna go show you the office. Let's go. So this is the office, um, uh, which is very exciting. It's uh, currently Glasset HQ. It feels quite different to the house. It feels a bit more stripped back bit more minimal, a bit more industrial. These are some really nice rugs from Nordic Knots. I love them so much, I bought two of them. This is where all the ideas happen, which is great. These are all of my magazines. Um, I like to have a flick through them every now and again for some good inspiration. I've got lots of L decoration ones on here. A couple of um, photography books as well here, which are like really beautiful. These are amazing, I love this. Feels like really fun. Um, we love playing records down here. We've got all of the new stuff like Tame and Parlour, Belle and Sebastian. Right, come over here. I had this table made and it was literally installed yesterday. It's so beautiful and I just love the curvature on the side here. It's made by a guy called Fred Rigby and we really wanted to have everything vintage down here or items that were built to last. So there's a bit of a kind of pillar of sustainability. And I know that I'm just gonna have this table forever. I absolutely love it. Um, and then we bought these amazing chairs from um, a guy that I found on Instagram called Toller. These are a mix between something that looks quite stylish, but they're also really, really comfortable. I kind of really like that kind of Parisian bistro wall gloss against the really architectural industrial ceiling. And then with coffee machine, I have just got into drinking coffee. I just found out about these guys called Watch House. 
and I been buy my coffee beans from them. Ali Hewson makes these mugs and they are just so beautiful. I feel like I only want to drink coffee out of beautiful vessels like this. Right, I'm going to show you the bathroom. Come on. Okay, so this is the bathroom. All of the walls are Tadalac and the shower is Tadalac. So that's like a specialist Moroccan plaster. We knocked two rooms together to make this bathroom because the bathroom before was really small. And because we did that, there's lots of kind of sharp angled walls. So I wanted to create a shower that was the opposite to that and had kind of curves and, and was like circular. And then I kind of wanted to do like a little arc where the shampoo and conditioner and everything is there. I definitely feel like I've played around with the textures in here. That was really important to me. I love these vulgar linen curtains that we had made. They're called like bistro curtains. All of the sanitary here is secondhand and vintage. So it's quite high maintenance, but it looks really lovely. And we've got a working fireplace in here. So it feels really, really cozy. When I can be bothered to um, light the fire, which is once in a blue moon, it is the best place to be in the house. Um, well, thank you so much for coming to my house. Um, I think your taxi's here. Go on, off you go.